In this video, I'm going to show you how to list files in Telescope, showing the most accessed files on top. I'm going to open Telescope the way that I open it normally, and I'm going to look for a file. I'm going to type options here. Notice that I have two entries. Normally, I don't want to open the entry below, which is in the LazyVim directory. Here's the name of the file. Here's the directory. I want to open this Neobin one. So I have to go up, hit enter, and then it opens the file. Let me look for another file that I open all the time, which is the key maps file. I modify this file a lot. I don't want to open this one. I normally want to open the Neobin one. So I have to go up, hit enter, and that is going to open my file. Now let me show you what this plugin does. I'm going to press leader FF. That's the way that I open it. I'm going to search for options, the same thing. Notice that this file has a score. So every time that you open the file, the score increases. And that is the file that shows on the top. I'm also going to look for my key maps file. And notice that this file also has a higher score, which is the one that I open all the time. I'm just going to hit enter to open the file. Let me exit NeoVim and I'm going to reopen it. So I'm back in. I'm going to search again, leader FF. I'm going to type key maps. Notice that it increased the score. So it's the file that shows on the top. So how do you do this? There's a plugin, Telescope. Recency. I'm not sure how that is pronounced. Let me open the file and here's how you configure it. I set two different options in the plugin to begin with. Show scores. By default, this is set to false. I set it to true just so you could see the scores of each file. I also set this show filter column to false. And why did I set it to false? Because if I set it to true before the name of the file here, it would show me the current directory. And I didn't want that. I just want the name of the file and the directory after. There's a lot more options that you can find in the documentation. Notice that this plugin requires Telescope. This is just an additional plugin that you install. You don't uninstall Telescope. If you want to know more about the different options, you can read the docs. I left a link here. And I'm also going to leave a link to my dot files in the video description in case that you want to grab this configuration. I'm now going to show you how I set up my key maps. So let me open the telescope file. Here it is. And I have some options here configured in telescope in case you want to grab them as well. I like to have the file name first and reverse directories. The other plugin, telescope recency, grabs these settings based on what I could see. And also here's where I configure the key maps. This one opens telescope in the normal way, leader FZ, the regular telescope. I also set this other one in which I specify the command telescope recency. And this is the one that I use most of the times. Well, actually all of the time. Here's the command telescope recency. I set the workspace and I also set the theme. What is the theme is what you see here. Notice that this is not regular telescope. It looks different. The most recent file shows at the top. I like this theme better, but if you don't like it, if you want to go back to the regular theme, just remove this part. Something else that I want to show you is how to delete entries from the database. There's a command. You can find it here. This deletes the current open file, or you can specify a path as well, as you see here. Let me open telescope, leader FF. I'm going to search for telescope. Notice that I have two entries. I'm going to delete this telescope.lua entry, and we should see that this is set to zero. So let me close out of here. Now I'm going to switch back to telescope. Now I'm going to type the command recency. If I hit tab, it shows me the two options. This is the one that I want. I'm going to hit enter. Notice that it was successfully deleted. So now I'm going to press leader FF. I'm going to search for telescope. Notice that telescope is set back to zero. So that's how you can play with the entries in the database. For the database, you don't need to install anything. I'm not exactly sure how it works, where the files are kept. Definitely they're kept locally somewhere. I haven't looked into that. Let me show you something else real quick. In case you like the way my markdown files look, I have a video in which I go over my entire markdown workflow. You'll be able to find that video in the top right corner. I go over stuff like all the key maps that I configure, here, all the plugins that I use, how to view and paste images in NeoVim, the way that you're looking at this image on the screen right now, and basically explain my entire markdown setup. Go and check it out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.